Hello everyone, it's Frances with your book of memories. Again, I've created a new design and I can't wait to show it to you. Welcome back and hello to all my newcomers. This is a fantastic project. I really think you'll enjoy this one. It's a new design and I already have a tutorial available on my website down below as a link, okay? I used again P13 Soulmate. This is more of a masculine style paper which I really enjoyed working with. I did doubt myself for just a moment but then as I continued, I went with the flow and it just, it just happened. So right here on the front, I do half, yeah, you guessed it, acetate and another frame, but this time there's an insert that actually comes out that you can interact with, put your photos on there, a nice five by seven, some journaling lines on the back. As you can see, I kind of went nuts with my white gel pen and I do have my own little designs of cameras right there. I just kind of doodled them on there. <laughs> Thank you again so much, Suzanne. I did use your amazing paper. As you can tell, again, we got some really cool metallic Fancy specialty paper right there. Pairs perfect with the wonderful acetate. I fussy cut my own element there. Again, white gel pen. Wrote soulmates there. This is just a collection of flowers out of my stash. Pop this little element up from the page. Again, they do have cut aparts pages that come with it as well as an elements page that you can fussy cut a ton of images out of. So right here on the inside, oh my gosh, I had an absolute blast creating this. This is a smash style, a lot going on here. We've got two pockets that are right next to each other. So created a different little style pocket there. I've got some elements from the page. Again, these are little cut aparts. And I just went around with my little white gel pen there to kind of accent that, created my own little tags. And again, a couple journaling lines out there, super fun and squiggly. I love it. I decorated directly onto the design paper itself and customized it as my own. So I want to show you the style of these pockets and how brilliant they are. Look at that. Okay, so this guy, uh-huh, he's back there. He's beautiful. I love him. Okay, some more photo spots right here. Fight for yourself. Totally my personality. Totally resonate with that. That is beautiful. Okay, absolutely stunning. Look at the shape of the pockets. This is something you can make as a beginner or as a seasoned crafter. No matter what, you can create this book and make it your own. And it's so much fun. I, I would just so absolutely look forward to teaching you how to do this. If you want to join one of my classes, this is, you would surprise yourself. You can do it. And you can stick these back in here however you'd like, no matter what you do with it. It looks great. <laughs> we have a couple more pictures right here, little picture mats. Okay, brilliant. Look at that. Horizontal and landscape, whatever it is that you want, you customize it. Beautiful accent there. And then I kind of went, you know, um, haywire on the, <laughs> the pen again, and I made my own little elements. Here's another little fussy cut image from that paper that I was telling you about. My little camera stamp there. Trust, that flips over. We've got photo space again on the back, customizable photo spots. Beautiful, imagine, okay, this flips over. We've got that awesome paper again. And then look at this, yep, another photo spot. Slips in and out of there, okay. Do whatever you want. You could put multiple pictures in here if you wanted. So I have like a wood grain design going on and I am playing a tutorial trailer after this walkthrough so you can see my teaching style and see if it's something that you can learn from, okay? Unity, wonderful, brilliant, excellent photo spaces right next to each other right there. All my pages lay flat. I have a certain design that I like to go by. And then again, beautiful, fantastic owl, unbelievable watercolor skill right here. Totally inspiring, beautiful five by seven photo spot and one on the back, a little bit trimmed down, but you know what, look at this moth, okay? Now this is the main, this is the main attraction. We've got a beautiful gusseted pocket here that is an acetate window all the way through, through and through it right here, evolution. Just hand wrote that. Did a couple little elements on the back of there. And you can fit, I mean, I don't even have what you can actually fit in here. I just did this just to show you. Well, look at this, yep. Beautiful photo spot, little magic trick there for you. And wow, okay, some of the elements out of the cut aparts page. Look at these, you, oh my gosh. 
Okay, it doesn't get any better. You don't, it doesn't get any better than you. I cannot wait to see what it is that you create. And if you are a student, please join my Facebook group, Mini Album Artists, so I can see all the projects you have been creating using my classes. Okay, I had a fantastic, wonderful time sharing this with you. I cannot wait to see you over there. Again, the link to the tutorial is down below. I hope you enjoy the trailer. See you next time. Bye. Hello, my friend, and thank you again so much for joining me. Welcome to the Simple Mini Album version 5 tutorial. It's a fun, smash-styled scrapbook, and I'm just immensely grateful to be here with you today. I also love the Fisker's paper trimmer. I do have my ATG gun as well, so beautiful fast matting with this. I have here with me two medium weight 12 by 12 chipboard pieces. Here's lightweight for my picture mats where I like to place the picture. Some people have it permanent, some people remove it. I like to keep it. Love this page, okay? Beautiful cut aparts page. So this is more of a masculine, neutral paper pack. Very unique. So first and foremost, what I always like to do is exchange out my blade. I'm gonna set my paper one off to the side and bring in the chipboard cutting one. We have a bendy side and a stiff side to each chipboard piece, okay? If you end up kind of going at different angles, you're gonna get a warpy score tape, okay? Once it's on there, let's go ahead and remove the backing and attach these two pieces of paper together carefully. Everyone's gonna have a, their own unique style, so that's what's so beautiful about building these books. You get to see your personality shine in your own book. We have another piece which is one five and five eighths by six and a half. Okay, so let's go ahead and go five and five eighths. The first one, let's line up with a five and one quarter inch side along the top. Now let's score half an inch. A very nice traditional card makers fold in there. And then I just stick my pieces on here. Again, I'm on a mountain side. And I'm sticking it down. Bottom right corner first, align the edge, guide the bottom, and flatten it out. Beautiful. As well, we're five inches by six and a half. Let's do it. You're super careful because sometimes we can mark our papers up. I'm gonna go seven eighths of an inch here. And rip it. Thank you.